<laughs> I do have more questions on some little things. <laughs> if God is all powerful, why does he allow evil in the world? <laughs> Tell us more about your family. We said grace before every meal. My mother was a horrible cook. She used to boil chopped meat, and she hated little children, but they could not use birth control. I will say this one more time. God, whatever you may think about the wisdom involved, created sex for the purpose of procreation, not recreation. <laughs> we all have a purpose in life. We eat food to feed our bodies, but we don't make ourselves throw up immediately after we're now doing. It should be the same with sex. Either it is done for the proper cause, or it is just so much throwing up, morally speaking. <laughs> Do nuns go to the bathroom? <laughs> was Jesus a feminist? He was. I have a brain tumor and I'm afraid of dying. What should I do? I thought I had explained what happens after death to you already. There is heaven, hell, and purgatory. What is the problem? Oh, yes. <coughs> As any seven-year-old knows, there are two types of sin, mortal sin and venial sin. Venial sin is the less type of serious sin you can do. If you tell a small lie to your parents, break your thumb with a hammer, and take the Lord's name in vain, or if you kick a barking dog. If you die with any of these venial sins on your soul, you may eventually work it all out in purgatory. <laughs> However, mortal sin is the most serious type of sin you can do. Murder. Sex outside of marriage. Hijacking a plane. Masturbation. <laughs> if you don't, with just one, just one of these sins on your soul, you will burn the whole journey. <laughs> now, to rid yourself of mortal sin, you must go make a proper confession to a priest and vow never to do it again. If, as many of you know, you are on your way to confession, you will confess a sin, and you are struck by a car or a bus before you get there, God may forgive you without confession if, before you die, you manage to say a good act of contrition. But if you die instantaneously and are unable to say a good act of contrition, you will go straight to death. <laughs>